What's what's mono? When you think about mono, what do you think about? A sickness that's like in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like mono meaning one, right? Mm. So mono unsaturated just means that. I just found out that coconut oil is poisonous. No. Okay. No, it's not poisonous. The adjunct professor from Harvard was saying, um, she said it's pure poison. But let's look at the facts here. Okay. We know that our cells need fat. Our, our cell membranes need fat. Our, the sheets around our nerves need fat. We need fat in our body for our body to function. But what type of fat do we really need, right? We can't say that just because this has saturated fat, we can't completely say we, we're not going to have it at all. We just need to have it in moderation, right? The American Heart Association said we should have about less than 10% of saturated fat in our diet, right, for our daily diet. So, I mean, really, would they tell us to have even an ounce of it if it was poison? No, right? Now, there are people that also have used this for their family members that have dementia. And it has helped. And, you know, what are you going to say to those people that don't give it to your your family member because it's poison and they see that their memory is coming back now it doesn't work for everybody you know but i think the most important thing is that we learn to eat more of the good fat and the good fat is our mono unsaturated and polyunsaturated why, why are you looking at me like that mono wet okay so what's what's mono when you think about mono what do you think about a sickness that's like in your throat <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like mono meaning one, right? Mm. So mono unsaturated just means that the chemical structure of that fat has one double bond. Do you remember from the chemistry class? No. <laughs> okay. But you know, like if you saw a, a structure, a compound, and you just saw two carbons and there are two lines in between, that's a double bond. So all of a monounsaturated fat is one double bond it has in there between the carbons. But there are a lot of carbons in there. Now, the saturated just means that there is no double bond. So it's saturated with hydrogens all over. All, the carbons have hydrogens all around them. Plant-based fat. A lot of the plant-based fats are monounsaturated. Mm -hmm. So like olive oil, canola oil, avocados are high in monounsaturated fat. Studies have proven time and time again that that kind of fat helps your HDL, mm. which is the good cholesterol, right? Mm. And it lowers the LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. And then the polyunsaturated, right? That's the other one. So if mono is one double bond, poly would have how many how many bonds? Multiple. Multiple. There you go. See how easy it is? That means you have two or more. Look at you. You're a scientist. So that means you have two or more bonds, right? But let's even bring it way down to what does it mean and what we eat. It just means that the fatty fish that we eat, like salmon, you know how I love my salmon. And sardines, you know, I like my sardines, right? A lot of people would say, ew, the sardines, but tuna, right? Herring, those all are polyunsaturated. And some plants like walnuts, some nuts, and flaxseed, those have polyunsaturated fats. So those are the kind of fats that we're supposed to be eating. Now, just because it's good fat doesn't mean we should overdo it because guess what's going to happen if we eat a lot of that too? We're gonna get fat, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so fat is fat, but we our body needs fat. Now, does that mean that we should just throw away this? No, people use it for their hair, their skin, and if you wanna put it in a smoothie, just make sure that you're using it reasonably. Not everybody 
really likes coconut oil really and don't even use it but if you're going to use it just know that you got to be smart about it right and and use it the right way i think i think this started all in 2008 when a professor in columbia did a study on this that showed i'm not going to go into the medium chain triglycerides that no that's okay we'll leave that for another day but anyway so <laughs> And she's like, that is so good. I did not want to hear about medium chain triglycerides. So don't worry about it. You know, the Mayo Clinic has a beautiful pyramid on how we're supposed to eat. And if you just follow that, most of the stuff on the base of that pyramid is fruit and vegetables. The fats are on the very top. And everybody trusts the Mayo Clinic. Heck, when people have diseases they can't figure out, they go to the Mayo Clinic. So I'm with them. Let's keep the fats. We still need the fats, so we're going to eat that, but let's eat more fruit and vegetables, right? Okay. And I've been telling you about coming to my course, my 31 days to a healthy lifestyle. How come you haven't, you signed up, but you have not tuned into actually, the videos? I actually have lost the link, so if you could just leave a link in the description box down below, then I can click on it and join the course for free. <laughs> but, so, so does that make you feel better? Well, now I guess I'm not too mad, not too sad, because I can use this on my hair, and I can eat it, and it's not too much, right? Right. In, right. in moderation. In moderation. Do everything, everything in moderation. In moderation. Thank you, Madre. No, I'm not too sad. I'll see you. I'm about to go eat this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was so not obvious. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to stop playing with me. I know, I know. 